Hi everyone, I'm Renee with Steadfast Fitness. Today we are doing dumbbells with double movements, two movements at once. This is an intermediate to advanced class. Let's get started. Starting with the warm up, go ahead and roll that one arm back. Doesn't matter which, we'll just go right to the next one. Keep the body loose, keep the knees loose. And then let's do four more, three more, two, and then take it to the other side. Keeping the body real nice and loose. Relaxing out the neck. Breathing on through. Two more, one more. Take the arms cross and back. Cross and back out. Yes, there we go. Just getting them ready for some hard work. And you can grab up to, you know, you can grab no weight, three pounds, five pounds, all the way up to 50 pounds. It just depends on what your level is. Four more, three more, two more, one, and then we'll add a squat and raise. Little bit of, of, of those skier swings. Shooting those arms up, giving a little bend in the knees. Good, four more, three more, two more, and then step out and circle both arms back, and then circle them forward. Keep those knees bent, surrounding the spine, especially warming up those arms, and then we'll move towards those legs. Get ready in two and one, and give me a little squat here. Sitting deep into the heels, chest stays up, knees at 90 degree angles, and then we're gonna round the spine coming up. Do that again, squat down, and round the spine coming up. So we're gonna go down, inhale, and exhale, pull the navel into the spine. Yes, inhale, and exhale, pull the navel into the spine. Do that once more. Inhale and exhale, pull the navel into the spine. Take those legs out a little bit wider and then just shift from side to side. Yep, warming up the inner thigh there. Good. Here's four more, three more, two more, one more. Stay at center, walk those feet together and then go ahead and hold right there. Try to reach for the ground or the shins, doesn't matter, wherever you can go. And then come up, raise your arms up, reach towards the sky and give a little heel raise. Yep, that's it, let's do it again. Down and then up and again. Reach down and up. Can you keep your back straight when you come back down? So a lot of you are gonna to wanna to bend your knees a little bit and you won't be able to get to the floor, so that's okay. Just warming up the backs of the legs, the thighs, and the calves. Yeah, good. Let's do two more. One more. Relax it out and then just roll that head forward to one side and then roll it right to the other. <sighs> Breathing, big breaths. Good, let's do that four more times. <sighs> Three more. Good, last two. And last one. Okay, take it to the center. Round up, circle those shoulders back. All right, let's go. We're gonna need your heavy weights for a squat with a bi curl. Here we go. So I'm gonna grab 15s, that works for me. And we're gonna take our legs a little bit wider than shoulder, uh, than hip width apart. And you're going to squat down low. Here, squat, 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 squat. Right now I'm in a neutral grip mode. Chest is up and I'm gonna come up and rotate into a bi curl, regular bi curl. All right, let's do it. Squat down, chest is up, sitting as deep as I can, and then coming back up. Let's just go right into it. Good. Make sure this weight is heavy or at the weight that is appropriate for your level. 
Here's four more, and if you're not sure, five to 10 is a good start. As in pounds. There we go. Let's do a couple more. One more. And then relax it. Put those weights aside. And let's go ahead, we're going overhead, tricep extensions with a back lunge. So whatever weight you can have overhead. We're just gonna bust through these. I'm gonna grab two tens. You can grab a single weight if you like. And I'll put my weights together, just so. Take them overhead, all right? And then as I lunge back, I'm gonna drop my arms down, elbows pointing up towards the ceiling, and then come up. No movement in my torso, no movement in my waist. I'm alternating. Down and up and again. Down and up. And make sure that your knee is not going past the toe. Torso is totally straight. All right. Those arms are steady. The dumbbells are going down and dropping and hitting the back of your neck. And the nicest little tap to say they're getting the greatest range of motion in a safe manner that they can. Do one more. Okay, relax it slowly down. All right, those are our two big movements. So let's get right back into our 15s or into our, our squat with bicep curl. All right, take those legs, hip width. If you need more of a break, take one. Ready? Here we go. I'm gonna squat and curl up. I just like getting it done, so I'm gonna take you with me. All right, if you're intermediate to advanced, then you'll know what I mean. You'll just wanna get it out of the way. Be safe, keep your eyes up, work at your level always. You can always pause. Pause me if you need to. Doing three sets here. One more, remember that rotation. Relax, put those weights down. Take your time putting those weights down or put them just aside. It's our little rest, kind of to change out those weights. And it tells me not to go too fast. All right. Getting ready for those triceps with back lunges. All right, here we go. Weights together. You can always downsize with the weights or, or get a little bit heavier with them. <sighs> Inhale here, exhale up. Inhale here, exhale up. Nice and steady. Good. Weights are great. Never, never skimp out on using weight training, doing weight training. Oftentimes, people will just go into cardio, or girls will go into cardio, and guys will go into weight training. It's good to mix both of them up. Two more, and sometimes that's not always true, right? There's always an relax. There's always that exception. Remember, if you need to change weight, definitely do so. I know one of my sisters loves weight training. We'll do it all day. Okay, here we go. Take a breath, squat with that bicep curl. Let me turn to the side for you when we do these. All right, ready? Here we go. Squat, curl. Let's do it. Head stays up and you're going as low as you can without compromising form. Wish I could go lower, but I'm a little bit, little bit tight there and I don't wanna show you bad form. But if I, if I was pushing a little bit, I'd like to go a little bit lower in my hips. Good, there we go. Let's do a couple more. Short sets if you've got the right weight. 
Okay, relax it and let's grab whatever weight you need for those triceps with back lunges. Take good breaths. Okay, these are going overhead, so make sure you've, you've caught your breath. All right, weights together or single weight overhead with your hands clasped and let's go. Doing reps, eight to 12 reps, depending on the exercise. So short reps, really wanna build on that strength and use heavy weights or heavy as in what's heavy for you. Eyes stay up. I notice mine going down a little bit. Tends to happen. Good, two more. Yes, and one more. Good, okay. Take those weights down. All right, take a breath, grab your water. All right. So we've got a single side lunge with a front raise. These usually take lighter weight. I'm gonna use a five, okay? You can use anywhere from a five to a 10. I injured my, my shoulder on this side of my wrist a little bit, so I've got my protective gear. So do the weight that's appropriate for you. Usually these front raises are gonna take lighter weight. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're gonna lunge to one side, all right, side lunge, lateral lunge. Sit back onto that heel. Sit back onto the heel with the knee that's bent. And then what you're going to do is you're going to raise that, uh, that same leg arm, same leg that's bent up into an anterior or front raise. And then we're gonna come up and make sure you're not pushing in, okay? You're not coming up like this with a little snake, okay? Head straight up. Ready? Okay, here we go. Side lunge and up, yes, solid. And make sure that knee is staying back behind that front toe. Good, for balance, you can take that other arm out to the side if you like. And only come up as high as shoulder level here. Do a couple more, one more. All right, let's take it to the other side. Big breath. All right, ready? Here we go. And like I said, I'm just taking you with me. There's no clock. We are just in the weight room, doing our lifting and just getting it done. I just wanna get it done today. You can even put that arm on your waist. It just depends on what's gonna stabilize you the most. Yep, one more. Okay, and relax it, catch your breath. We're gonna need a little bit of bigger weights, maybe like a moderate weight. I'll grab tens for me. We're going to do burpees, okay? Burpees with dumbbells, and then a push-up with the on, on the blow. So let's see what you got. You're gonna need your mat, so have that handy. All right, let's step to the front of our mat. All right, and you're gonna squat down, placing the dumbbells down on the ground, shoulder width apart, make sure they're steady, and jump or walk back. All right, let's give a little push up here. You can stay on your toes or drop onto the knees for it. And you're gonna come on up, feet between the hands if you can. Straight back up, straight back up, straight back up, and jump if you like. If you're jumping with those weights, you better know what you're doing. So make sure there's no movement up top. All right, or else cancel that jump. All right, let's go into it. Get ready and go. Push up, I'm gonna go onto my knees so I can do a whole bunch of them. All right, nice, good control here.
straight back coming up. Do what works for you, okay? Remember, you can always walk those burpees. Watch that lower back. Real controlled on any of the jumps. Let's do one more, two more, sorry. And last one. Ah, oh, good. Okay, let's put those weights aside and get ready for the lateral run lunges with the front raise. Let's grab those weights or that weight, single weight. Remember, side lunge. Make sure your heart rate has calmed down a bit from those burpees. And lunging with one side, same side raises. Ready? Let's go. Yeah, good. Good. Keep that going. Ooh, make sure you're not pressing on your thigh. I just realized that might be a thing. Let me take my arm out. Good, there we go. Heart rate should be up. That's for sure, especially if you're with the right, relax, right kinds of weight. Step to the side, give yourself some space. All right, catch your breath. And here we go. And remember, if you don't need to catch your breath, you're either coming off an injury, you're either getting back into working out and you just, you're taking it easy for whatever reason, or you're not working hard enough. You've gotta, you gotta push a little bit here. And this is not a beginner class. This should be, you should be at an intermediate to advanced level if you're doing these double movements. All right, relax, take a breath. Let's go ahead and grab those weights for the burpees. Take a good amount of breath. You can hold off on, on picking those weights up until we're right in the exercise. Let me shake it out a little bit. Give you some time for that heart rate to calm down a little bit. Okay, let's do it. Ready? All business with these weights. Let's go. Down. Don't forget that push up. I want you to be safe. I want you to feel really good when you're doing these exercises. And I want you definitely to know what you're doing. With these intermediate and advanced classes, sometimes there's not enough instruction if you're just starting out. So I want to make sure that if you're coming in or transitioning from beginner to intermediate, you're getting, you're getting the best, the most you can out of it. There we go. Couple more. Oh, last one. Oh, these never get easier. Oh, okay. Yay! All right. Get ready. We've got one more set of those lateral lunges. Yeah, three sets today. Three big sets. You're gonna feel it. Big breaths. I would never do these sets without you. It's so hard for me to do three sets on my own. It's when I'm teaching classes, I'm motivated by my classes to do them too. Let's do this together. Ready? Heart rate's calm. Let's do it. Side lunge. Good. Sitting back onto that heel, that knee is not going past that toe. And this foot is staying down, by the way. It's not, it's not 
I see this a lot. Be careful. Keep that foot flat and down. One more. Good. Take it to the other side. Big breath. Get ready and let's go. Yes. Oh, good. Oh. Keep that breathing. Weight training can really change your body in a great, great way. It's where all those muscles, you start seeing them pop out in a nice way. One more. All right, good. Take a breath, get ready, wait. Last set of those burpees. Grab your water if you need it. If your shoulders are feeling this, you might wanna take out that push up. All right? And just keep your arms straight. If not, let's do this, come with me. Get ready, set and go. Nice squat. Straight back coming up, everybody. Being real careful with that weighted jump. I don't want to see those elbows bending when you jump. I don't want to see this, okay, happen. It's dead weight. Arms stay low. And if that can't happen, please don't jump. Good. There, great, great, great. Come on, over halfway there. Back is straight. Oh. Two more. Woo. One more. Let's go. Let's go. After it, after it, after it, after it. Oh, yay. Yay! We did it. Okay. Weights down. Grab water. So let me show you without the weights first. All right. You are going to be into a squat. We're going into that, that squat. All right. Once again, the arms stay straight. Okay. You're going to squat down, maybe come as far as touching the floor, but your chest has to stay up and your back has to stay straight or straight ish. Straight or straight ish. Okay, none of this. All right, and when we come up, we're gonna come up, we're gonna curl. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna keep a neutral grip where the thumbs are up. Curl, where our elbows are almost at our thighs, and then we're gonna come up that way. The hard part is right here. Okay, it's that curl when we're low. Do what you can do. All right. Let me grab the 15s first, because I want to go hard, and then I'm going to taper my weights or go down. All right, get ready. All right, here we go. So we squat, we squat, stay here, stay here. Curl, and come up. Yes, good. And then come down, Ugh. straighten the arms. Curl the arms, come up, keep them curled. Down, straighten the arms, bend the arms, come up, do it again. Down, straighten, eyes up, bend, off, oh. and down. If your lower back is feeling this too much, you gotta go a little lighter on the way, okay? Good, or maybe go through that hold right here. <laughs> and just come up instead of staying down. But this is and should be tough. Full body workout and these double movements, oh, they are no joke, right? One more. Okay. Breathe, breathe, breathe. All right, I'm gonna put those weights down. And I'm going to grab my medium weight, 
for what, uh, what I'm using as 10, 10 pound dumbbells. So what I'm going to do is an underhanded row with two back leg lifts, all right? So you'll need your mat, breathe. Let's do the row first. So learning moment while we let our, our, our heart rate go down. Palms face forward, sorry. Palms face forward. I'm gonna come forward, bent over. Okay, back is straight. I'm gonna curl back, underhanded grip, right? Keeping my elbows close to my back. Rotate to neutral grip or where palms face down to the ground. Jump or walk back, I'll walk these. All right, keep a straight plank. Keep a straight plank with me. And then raise one leg, then the other, and walk right back up. Straighten that back, straighten the back. Don't let it round, straighten the back. Straighten, straighten, straighten. Come up, straight back. And when you rotate, your, arm, your palms far forward and you pull back, underhanded row. Okay, relax for a second. So that's the movement, all right? You can either walk into that plank or jump. All right, let's do it. Oftentimes with back exercises, you'll want heavier weight. For me, I want my mediums. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Underhanded grip row. Step back. One leg up. The other leg up. Step back forward. Get into position. Row. Step back maybe with the other leg. Lift the other leg, then the opposite. Come back up. So if you want to change the leads of those legs, or my, your right leg goes back and up first, then you can go ahead and do so. We're not gonna worry too much about it. Oops, stay there. Almost forgot my leg raises. Straight back, straight back with these. Yes. Step back, lift, lift. Chest up. Yes, there we go. Left, left, straight body. Row, don't forget that rotation. Left, left. Let's do one more. All right. Left, left. And then come up. Oh, okay, good. Weights down. Oh, actually I'm using these. Okay, I'll put them down here. And we're gonna catch our breath. We're gonna go into that squat with that neutral curl, that hammer curl. Okay, or what's called a dumbbell clean. Shake it out. And let's go. Okay. Here we go. Legs hip width apart. Neutral grip or palms face, facing each other. Squat, chest stays up. Curl and come up and down. Oh. Down, good. Keep that breathing going. I'll tell you what, oh, that five pounds makes a difference for me. Make sure you're pushing yourself, but woo! Boy, did my heart rate get high when I was using those 15s with this exercise. So I monitored myself and I'm back to the 10s and I hope that you're monitoring yourself too, even if it means five pound weights or three pound weights, that's okay. These are big movements. Or maybe you went up, okay? One more. Oh. Okay, yay. All right, all right. Keeping these weights and going into uh, the underhanded row with those leg raises. Okay, either walking these or jumping them. Wait, let the heart rate calm down a little bit first. Breathe it out, keeping the eyes open. Okay, and here we go. Bending over, 
palms face forward, row, come down, walk, lift, lift, and walk up. Set, row, don't go into that row without that back being set. Lift, lift, up, row. Lots going on with this one. Oh, whoo! Left, left. Lots, lots. I love the way it feels though when you're all set and you feel you you can feel like those muscles popping a little bit. Whoo! Straight body. One more. Okay, I'm gonna put those down. Take a breath. All right, let the heart rate calm down. Grab your water, take your moment. Step, touch it out, shake it out. Make sure you're not just stopping. Get ready. All right, get ready. Here we go, that squat with the curl. Ready, or the dumbbell clean. Let's do this. Squat, curl, my chest is up. Yes, good, yay. Yeah. Inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale, or vice versa, I could have done that a different way. Could exhale right here. Just make sure that you're keeping that breathing going. You're grabbing your breath wherever you can. And you're not just exhaling, you're inhaling too. And keeping the eyes open. Good, couple more here. Yes, one more. Oh. Whew. Okay, relax that out. Maybe put those weights down. I'm just gonna hold mine. I'm gonna walk it out a little bit. Sort of like a little dumbbell carry around. But my heart rate is going down. So if yours is not, while holding on to that weight, please put them down. Relax it out a little bit. Okay, here we go. Get ready. Remember that row with that walking burpee. Okay, here we go. Position, row. Leg lifts. This is almost, this is almost three exercises, right? We, could, we can almost count these as three because we're doing a burpee with a row and with these leg lifts. So this is our, our like triple movement one, but still staying strong. Back is totally straight on those rows. And I'm not, you, we don't care which leg is going back first or front first. I'm kind of, I'm kind of taking one back and then the other and trying to remember, but it's not that important. It's really not. Not, not for this workout. Left, lift. Okay, come on. Oh, good. Guess what? Put these down. We have got, we have got two more exercises to do. Okay, so this next one is kneeling real tough. <clears throat> I'm going to grab my 10 pound dumbbells. Your dumbbells are gonna go overhead and you're gonna keep them there. Your arms are probably shaking if that's the case. You're either gonna grab light, light, really lightweight or you're gonna keep your arms at your, uh, at your sides. Let me show you this and you can come with me if you want to. We're gonna start kneeling. I'm gonna start down, all right? Kneeling, kneeling, all right. Kneeling to stand. Let me start with pretending I'm holding on to the weights. I'm gonna take my right leg up forward Okay, push into, into that back toe to come up and that head goes straight up towards the ceiling. 
Okay, and that right leg that went forward is gonna be the first one to go back all the way down into a kneel. And then back. All right, let's try it with our arms overhead. All right, palms facing forward. Palms facing forward. Right, let's try the left leg, sorry. Left leg up. Up to standing, see how my torso is straight? Left leg back. And right leg back. Okay, so if this is tiring with your arms straight up, you're gonna do them dangling at your sides. Let's do them with weights, let's grab it. My arms are shaking a bit. I might go down to fives. If I had eights, I would. I don't have them here in the weight room. I have them in my studio. So here we go. So I'll deal with fives or tens. I'm sorry, let's start kneeling. Let's start with the right leg going forward. And if you can, we'll start with those arms up. Get ready and go. Right leg forward, left leg comes to meet it. Right leg back, just six on each side. Right leg forward, same thing, same leg, same leg, keep the same leg. Right leg again. Good. Yes. Good, 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 good. Keeping the torso up nice and tall. Breathing, eyes up. Good. One more. All the way down, everybody. Oh, and weights down, woo! Okay, shake that out. Shake that out. So on the next one, to keep both you and I honest, I'm gonna keep my arms at my sides. So you make a choice on whether you want them held overhead or down at your sides. Since these are single sets, we're just doing two sets of these. So we're gonna go to the left side, and then right, then left. All right? So here we go. Arms overhead or at your sides. All right, left leg goes forward first. Left, right, and then left leg goes back. Good, here we go. Again, staying on that left leg. I'm gonna go a little bit slower because I know some of you have those arms overhead, and we do not need to go fast for these. I don't want that torso coming forward in any way. I don't want this to happen. That's using your lower back. Okay, I want those legs to work. I believe we've got two more. One more here. Is it? Let's do one more just in case, just in case I miscounted. Okay, and relax. Woo. Take a breath. So again, we're gonna go to the right side, break, and then the left side. And then we're gonna go to our last exercise, which is on the floor, okay? Using our abdominals. So, arms at your sides or overhead. Here we go, ready? Arms up, and let's do it, right leg forward. Good, right leg forward again. Keep real good control. Some people, you'll need to roll that mat up behind you because your knees are saying, oh, I do not like being on my knees like that. Do the best you can. Let's do one more, uh, sorry, two more. Keep your arms as straight as you can get them. Okay, slowly lower those dumbbells and relax it. Take a breath. Okay. All right, last set, left leg. Get ready. I'm gonna go overhead. Here we go, left forward left back. Good, five more. See how my knee is not going past that toe? It's at a 90 degree angle right there. Halfway there. Oh. 
good. Two more. Last one. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, yay. Okay. Shake those out a little bit. Oh, good. We've got one more. I'm as excited as you are, I think. So we are doing three sets on the abdominal one. It's a pullover. We're doing neutral grip pullover with leg raises. So you'll want medium weight. I'm going to grab my tens and put them together. Or maybe I'll grab a single 20 and show you that. Let's do it. Okay. If you're not sure what to start out with, do something light. You're going to need room overhead. All right. So let's come down. And what you're going to do is clasp your hand onto the, the middle of the dumbbell or put those two dumbbells together. All right, you're gonna lay back, starting with the hands up, starting with the legs up, maybe bent knee, pressing the lower back into the ground. And let me do one movement first. Let's do the, the pullover first. I'm gonna take that dumbbell all the way back and then forward. That's one movement. The other one is the legs lower to the ground without that lower back lifting from the floor and then lift. So if you can, we're gonna do them together. All right, so it's like this. Down and up. Come on with me. Inhale and exhale. Good, inhale and exhale. Oh boy, this 20 is tough. Yes, some of you are gonna not want a heavy weight. And some of you will say, well, I think I would rather just do one movement, one of those. So pick one if you need to, make sure that lower back is not lifting from the floor. One more. Okay, good. And maybe rest it, rest that weight on your, uh, on your chest or on your hips. If they're too heavy, you can't rest them on your body. Keep it breathing. We've got two more of those. Oh boy. Get ready. Let's do this, go. And don't worry about how much weight you've got on. Some of you are gonna say, you know what, I, I'm, I'm just doing three pounders or nothing at all and this movement is hard. Well, you're just building up. I did the same thing when I was rebuilding. Keep that breath going. Inhale and exhale, good. Inhale. And exhale, keep that lower back on the ground. And relax. Oh, I'm gonna put that to the side. Woo! It's getting heavy to hold on to. Make sure when I'm saying that lower back isn't lifting up, it's not, I'm sorry, that weight's in the way. It's not arching like this. Don't press too hard, but I'm trying to not let my back overwork. I'm trying to get my abdominals to do a little bit more. All right? So that's, that's where that is. All right, get ready. Our last set, our last set. Let's do this. Ooh, I need both hands. <laughs> that to the chest. Maybe get those legs a little straighter. Maybe you'll need to keep them bent. Straighter legs, a little bit tougher. Get ready and let's go. Inhale and exhale. Some of you won't be able to go all the way to the ground. So that's okay. Do what you need to do. Especially after this workout. So we did eight, eight double movements, which is like 16 exercises. Good, couple more. 
Oh, one more. Oh, good. Okay, wait to the side. Be careful. All right. Oh, I just want to lay here now. <laughs> My arms feel so like mush. All right. Relax it down. We're not going to. We're just we're going to stretch just a little bit. Straighten uh, one leg. It doesn't matter which. Bring the other knee in towards the chest and hug them in. So my straight leg's foot is flexed. I want to try and get like the back of my knee down to the ground. Toes straight up. Sometimes those toes like to turn out. Keep the toes straight up. And bring that nose to the knee, to the bent knee. And then relax it and switch. Go ahead and take that other knee in towards the chest and then flex the straight leg. Try to get that back of the knee to touch the ground. Mine, mine is nowhere near, <laughs> but I'm trying. I'm trying. I want to get rid of some tightness here. Bring that nose to the knee. Breathing. Yes, and then relax it. Bring both knees in towards the chest. Make sure you're clear for space. I'm going to move this weight a little bit away. And let's go ahead and open up. I didn't move it far enough. Let's open up those arms. Okay, palms facing up. And then we go ahead and then drop the knees to one side. Just loosening them up. Some of you are going to feel that chest stretch on, on this side, on the side those knees are away from. Some of you won't feel anything at all. That's okay. Let's just open up the lower back a little bit. And then go ahead, use your abdominals to have control and take those knees to the other side. Maybe pull that top knee towards the floor. Great, come back to center. Rock on up and let's, let's stretch out those arms. Go ahead and take one arm across, pull it in just briefly. Take the other arm across, pull it in. Relax that out. Okay, let's get on all fours. I want, I want a, a good chest stretch here. So, getting on all fours, hands right underneath the shoulders for now. Walk those hands forward with the hips forward. Make sure they're not shooting back. Hands as far forward as they go and then press that chest to the ground. Nice chest stretch here. And let's come forward, walk those hands back, and then this time go ahead and lower those hips all the way down, straightening that, uh, those arms. Love taking the arms to one side, my favorite stretch, one of hips to the other. And then take those hands back to the other side, hips at opposites. Come back to center, round up. And great job. Hope you feel awesome. Make sure you're not weightlifting tomorrow. Give yourself at least a day's rest. See you on the next one.